wasn't ready to be hit on the streets. Oh, okay, <laughs> great. It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, too. Um, How long have you been doing that for? Yeah, how you say, dude? That was Alan. I don't know if you recognize him. Well, I don't think you would. His face is usually not on his Instagram videos that he does. But he's the guy that in Chicago goes around and asks friends of people what they had for breakfast. What did you have for breakfast today, man? Uh, today for breakfast I had mini cinnamon toast crunch. I met him because that's what he did to me. What did you have for breakfast today? Nothing. Nothing. A cup of coffee, black coffee. Black coffee. What's up? Um, I'm Alan. I do What Was Breakfast on Instagram and on TikTok. I just stopped uh, these two uh, and asked them what they had for breakfast. I took their picture, which I'll post later to What Was Breakfast, and now I'm on your vlog. <laughs> Never thought I would actually run into him. This is really cool. It's a pleasure, man. <laughs> Ever since then, I, I kept up in touch with him. But I'm on my way to Wicker Park. I'm going to Ipsento, which is a nice coffee shop, and uh, meeting up with some old friends. You know, it's only April and it's 2023. I've been doing this for like five years now, but it's been such an honor to be able to keep meeting such awesome like-minded creatives in the city. That's the thing, that's what we're trying to figure out. And we're all kind of doing our own thing, but when we get to meet together, we get to just be inspiring to each other and collaborate. And it's just honestly really nice. like a testimonial. Like a before and after, <laughs> like before she watches your video, okay. and then like she'll explain what she knows now, and then it's like another video after she watches it, and then she can tell us like everything she learned. I know. Yeah, I Josh, just start a master channel. class and then use Gracie as your testimonial. <laughs> you can use my like, quotes like <laughs> best video ever. Okay, Four. so this is this is what I know about cameras. ISO, that adjusts kind of like your brightness. It's almost like artificial lighting, right? Wait, I'm sorry. Hold up a second. She doesn't really know all the technical bits of filmmaking, like lighting, color grading, like the triangle of exposure, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. She doesn't know like the basic technical bits of that, yet she creates such awesome work. Like what? She's a fantastic filmmaker and cinematographer, and yet she doesn't know any of the specific bits of that, of the technical side of things? Like what? And that's all. She's gonna watch my video and figure out <laughs> how to actually be a filmmaker. What's Even though she's like super good. You're on the right track, yeah, for yeah. sure. It's just like, man, when you have the confidence and like you know what you're doing, like, I can only imagine like what you do next. Oh yeah, I know that like once I like really know my settings like to the T, like. There we are. Thank you. Very well. <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't get ordered or served at all you for like. Order. You don't, I'm gonna start that over. So this is what happens when you don't get served for the first 15 minutes of sitting down. Thank you. You just get free appetizers. Um. <laughs> yes. Kind of. You want it? <laughs> like I'm totally okay with being in it. Absolutely. What's Absolutely. Your name? My name's Lloyd. Lloyd Wheeler. Lloyd? Yeah. Lloyd's Lloyd's really good here at Kazuki. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't have a way to properly transition this. So, um, tr transition. If you don't know Kevin, he's a pretty awesome cinematographer. He's worked with Pokey Studios for a few years. He is one of the founding members, I believe. Lately, he's kind of been lone wolfing, treading his own path right now when it comes to what he wants to be doing creatively. Let's do that Yeah, that's what I said we could do. Is that a camera? So we're on the roof of this parking garage. I'm not gonna say which one. Uh, but we're here for the city light and filming something. Don't know what it is yet, but Gracie is the director here. I don't think we're supposed to be up here. I mean, look at this view. Careful. Gracie, on the other hand, I just met her maybe a few months ago, and this is our first time actually getting to hang out and work on something together. Like I mentioned earlier, she doesn't really know all the technical bits of how a camera works, but she truly does know how to put together a story. Nominate me as the director. You, this was your idea. Oh, that's you true. Brought, you brought the mood board out. What? <laughs> but like, that's all I had. I wear the director hat now. You haven't been. <laughs> it's funny how much I've been doing BTS of other people's work this year, but it's kind of been a learning process with it too. Not just in the BTS, but getting to see other people's minds and how it works when they think of certain things as they direct. You haven't frozen to death yet. One more shot, and then we're gonna call it a wrap. It's a martini shot. <laughs>
You know, I watched this video back at least 10 to 20 times editing this, and I couldn't quite figure out how to actually end this video. And then I was listening to the, some of the audio from the first monologue in the beginning, and funny enough, the way I want to end this video is actually something that I said in the beginning of this video, but it just didn't really fit until now. Don't hesitate to meet with people, go to coffee shops, and just get that validity. Continue sharing each other's ideas and showing support. We need that. Being a creator, it's not a solo mission.